Merry Christmas! Mandolin Vlog Episode 9. It is Wednesday, December 25th at 12.28 a.m. That's right, I am uh, still awake from Christmas Eve. I uh, got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow, and I happen to be up now. So I figured I'll just go ahead and do it now, and we'll call it a Christmas Wednesday episode, because technically it is. Uh, so... <coughs> Uh, the main thing that's been interesting to me this week is listening to uh, an album that came out in October called Noam Pekelny Plays Kenny Baker Plays Bill Monroe, which is fantastic. So for those that don't know, you have Noam Pekelny, who is a banjo player, uh, who's, I guess, claimed to fame as playing with the Punch Brothers, though he's done tons of stuff before that and since uh, that band started. Just a tremendous... I mean, he's like the Chris Thiele of banjo, so it makes perfect sense that they're together. I mean, I would put him on par with Bela Fleck. Just, like, really clean. Uh, I'll get to that in more in a second, but just, like, you know, he could do it all uh, and has. <laughs> and he's just, you know, he's still young and all that kind of stuff, so it's incredible. Uh, but so he, uh, back in the 70s, 77, I think, a record came out called Kenny Baker Plays Bill Monroe. Kenny Baker was... Uh, a long-time uh, bluegrass boy with Bill Monroe's band, um, the fiddle player in that band. So he's doing a lot of he's doing all Bill Monroe tunes, uh, and it's funny because Bill Monroe actually plays on Kenny Baker plays Bill Monroe. I don't know exactly how that happened, but Kenny decided to do a record, and Bill's like, oh, "I'll just play on it," even though they had already done all the recordings years ago. Uh, so the original recordings, a lot of them came out in the '50s. So, some old stuff. And I was listening to a song called Brown County Breakdown, which is a favorite of mine from that record. And I found on YouTube uh, the original Bill Monroe version and the Kenny Baker updated version. Uh, and then, of course, I have the Noam Pekelny record, so I've got all three generations. And even I found on iTunes, uh, there's like a deluxe edition of the Chris Thiele Michael Davis record, which has four extra tracks. And then there's a... I think it's four extra tracks, and then there's a, a separate single uh, that's got an extra track on it, and then, of course, there's that song they did, um, the Civil War era song, uh, so I just bought a whole bunch of great tunes on, on iTunes, but anyway, one of them is Brown County Breakdown, and honestly, their version of it is, like, astounding from, like, a technical, uh, like, jamming perspective because they just jam over it the whole whole time but it's almost so chaotic and jammy that you don't really get the melody as strong so it's not my favorite version not my favorite of theirs I, I can understand why it got cut from the original record uh but it's still good so you should check it out uh but anyway so those original those uh those three tunes the bill monroe kenny baker and noam pekelny versions of those tunes are fascinating because you go back to 55 and you have the original bill monroe version which has three fiddles on it which is, like, way too many fiddles. Uh, if you've ever heard, like, a uh, uh, elementary school orchestra with several violins playing at the same time, you can imagine how terrible that sounds. Nobody's in tune, period, and then definitely not in tune with their other players. Um, so anyway, it's got a very raw feel to it, and I don't exactly understand why they thought three fiddles was a good idea. Because there's, like, that kind of rough, it's fun, we're just sitting around playing music, kind of rough. And then there's rough, like, ugh, that doesn't sound good, why would you keep that on there? But anyway, it's, it's old, um, who might argue? Clearly Bill Monroe is great. Uh, and that song is great. But the Kenny Baker updated version from 22 years later is already way better. It kind of just cleans it up a little bit, puts the fiddle out front uh, with by itself, so it can you can actually hear the melody. Plus Kenny Baker sounds like he's just a better violin player than the other original three guys, uh, one of which may have been him, but I, I don't know if that's true. Um, Vassar Clements, I think, played with him way back then, but it's not any one guy's fault. They just all play together, and it sounds garbage. But anyway, so the Kenny Baker version is great, and then you fast forward to 2013, Noam Pekelny's version with uh, Stuart Duncan on the fiddle, and then, of course, Noam playing all of Kenny Baker's parts on the banjo, and it's just fascinating. I would encourage you to go to YouTube and type in Brown County Breakdown uh, and then uh, just check out all those uh, those various tunes and just listen to the difference and how it got kind of cleaned up over the years, like as it's been studied 
by players who are, uh, you know, in their late 20s, early 30s, uh, you know, mid 30s or whatever, that grew up with this kind of stuff. Uh, it's just fascinating to hear how it's how it's gotten so cleaned up and and polished. Like the people who study the originators, you know, just clean it up all that much more. Um, so the Noam Pecani record is uh, is astounding and is very beautiful, and I'm really liking it a lot. A song called Lonesome Moonlight, Mo Moonlight Waltz, which is just, I mean, some of the prettiest banjo music I've ever heard. Um, but, uh, it, you know, it just doesn't have that kind of fun guys sitting around playing music kind of feel like the Thiele Days record does and like Bluegrass seems like it should. You know, it's very, very polished, very clean. Everybody hits every note perfectly and prettily, uh, and, you know, nobody skips a beat, so... You know, if it weren't for Ronnie McCory's mandolin, which kind of has a little bit of a, a rougher edge to it, which is just his style, uh, you know, it would sound pretty soulless. As gorgeous as it is, you know, it's like hard to take away from it, but like Brian Sutton on the on the guitar, just a fantastically incredible guitar player, but almost to the point of like losing a little bit of soul. Like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, not to, to say something bad about somebody who clearly is fantastic, but there's just like this level of proficiency that can make you sort of lose a little bit of the spontaneity and the fun, especially with bluegrass, which seems to kind of, you know, benefit from that. Uh, like Chris Thiele, clearly a very clean player. I mean, the guy plays Bach, and then on the Punch Brothers record some of the time, it's just very pretty and very perfect, but he can still get a little rowdy, you know, so I like that aspect of it. But who knows? This was a recreation of a recreation of songs, so it makes sense that it would get refined to the umpteenth degree. So anyway, check that out. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty cool. So I was going to play a Christmas tune that I decided, uh, you know, I just don't want to. So I've been working on a tune called Soldier's Joy, and I thought I'd try something a little different this week. Um, might be the last time I do it until I can find a better method, but I'm going to play along with the Hal Leonard book play along track. So I'll be the mandolin player on the track which means that there's a banjo break. Uh, it goes mandolin, banjo, guitar, and then mandolin again. So I'll start and end the song, and then there are two breaks in the middle where I'm just going to play rhythm. So you'll get a chance to see me play rhythm, which is uh, very <laughs> uh, boring. And I don't really know all that much about chopping, so I'm going to do my best. I'm kind of still learning that whole technique. Uh, so I'll, I'll give that a try. So the music's going to be coming out of the laptop and then being recorded by that same laptop, which I know is going to sound garbagey, uh, but I think I got the level at least okay to where you can hear everything and it won't blow out your ears or sound too garbled. Um, but anyway, if it's too terrible, then I won't ever do it again. <sighs> so with that, Merry Christmas. Uh, here's Soldier's Joy. Uh, as written and performed by me and Hal Leonard.
All right.